Hey everybody and welcome to episode number 22 you can hear your life from Dr. Amir Parekh we are on chapter number 13 prosperity prosperity is a lot about money wealth abundance and something that we often feel that we do not deserve so the f- sentence of the the first sentence in the book starts with i deserve the best and accept the best now this is something we've been talking since a long long time about the fact that we deserve something now the question is do you have certain belief systems for this do you have believe that uh, you know only rich people deserve money or money is bad money is evil in some way uh, you know people who are making a lot of money are very greedy or there's always going to be a lot of corruption or money comes and goes or you know people have to keep struggling for money you have to work really really hard for money or you don't deserve enough money you should not give money to others because it will never come back but all these are negative beliefs regarding money prosperity abundance so the question is that if you actually believe them in some way or the other you might be manifesting all of this in your life it's it's how you are looking at money it's how your energy money energy is actually working so if this limited thinking is existing you have to first ask yourself why do you feel that you do not deserve this like on what basis do you think that you do not deserve to have everything in the world sometimes you know we we win something maybe a small thing but then you we keep saying i don't know how i could have won i don't know how i could have won i never win i never win so basically we are only telling the universe or we are telling our subconscious mind that see we never believe that we deserved it so even if we got something good it will slip away in some way or the other so for us to identify that there is infinite abundance in this world and everything which actually is required is present in in infinite potential is what we need to look at for example if you look at a tree now a big tree can grow from a very very small seed for example if you look at a tomato a tomato has multiple seeds on an apple it has multiple seeds each of these seeds has the potential to become into another tree a big tomato tree or a, a apple tree now the same thing is whether you understand that you deserving abundance is not taking away your anybody else's money or you're not taking anybody else's right you are attracting and manifesting and you know wanting what you truly deserve and the universe will provide it from somewhere or the other so the question to identify first is what beliefs are limiting you that's the first exercise you need to do we've done a lot of limiting beliefs earlier also but especially with regard to money and prosperity what are the belief system that you need to look at so if you are rejecting prosperity in some way for example if somebody is giving you a gift but you think that you know no 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 i don't want it i don't want it you know we keep doing this but in some way we are blocking that energy right we can willingly accept that gift if it's not good for us we can pass it on the idea is to let the flow of energy be there because that way you're telling the universe that you want something to come into your life okay so if something is coming you accept it with grace you accept it with you know joy and you know happiness in whatever form it is don't sit and criticize that you no know, what i this is not what i wanted or this is not perfect or you know something on those lines everything that you do you have gratitude for that for example i'm talking to you via this phone i'm i'm, I'm recording this via phone so if this technology never existed i would have never reached out right so i have to be grateful to everything that's around me because then i realize that so many things are there in my life which maybe a lot of people don't even have secondly you need to make room for the new what is making room for the new you actually start clearing clearing and decluttering your room your closets your wardrobe your house you know your stationery whatever is old you start clearing this out the idea is you want to remove whatever was stuck and you want to get new things into your life so the more you have space for something new to come in the more likely that something new is going to come in so if your beliefs were stuck on you know you're not worthy you're not deserving or you know your money is very difficult to come by in some way then you need to declutter all of that from your mind declutter the experiences maybe work with a professional a coach or a counselor if required and recognize that money is something that you can actually have emotions attached to you can recognize those emotions and work on it to create the right amount of money consciousness now money consciousness starts on a very deep level so the first thing when we are talking about gratitude we are going to start having gratitude for every bill every expense that we make along with the income that comes in for example if you are traveling by a, a, a taxi or a cab 
you're going to have gratitude that you the taxi driver brought you to the destination that you were able, you paid the taxi driver for his services same way any bills that come to you the fact is that you're getting a bill means you have that amenity available to you have that service available to you so we are going to actually express gratitude for every expense that we make as well along with every penny that comes in you bless it with love you bless it with joy and you actually feel good about spending money so every time you do that you're sending in a positive energy across the universe and that's how you start building on your money consciousness so for today's exercise recognize what negative beliefs are there about money how you can start appreciating others around you more as well as have more gratitude in your life and you can start actually giving thanks for your expenses as well so until next time i'm signing off